Hello there, Star Wars toy fans. This is Jim, and welcome to my channel. Well, the topic of today's discussion is not the Robin Hood playset made by Kenner. I've already done a video on that, and if you'd like to see that, please search through my list, and it's it's in there. It's a good comparison between that and the Ewok Village. Today's topic actually has to do with the Nintendo that you see sitting on the table. Now, my wife and I have not updated our systems in years just because of the price. We've got a GameCube and a PlayStation 2, and the Wii is the most recent thing, but really the NES is one that the kids enjoy playing even still. So how is this related to Star Wars? Well, if you happen to have this vintage cartridge, or this one, as Star Wars fans, and they're not working, or maybe you're a Robin Hood fan, and you want to get those things working again, what do you do? This happens to be Mario 2, and that's what the screen looks like right now. Now we're going to put in Super Mario 2. Did you see that pixelated screen? Well, if that's happening to you or you're getting nothing on the screen, which is what I was experiencing with the Robin Hood cartridge, which is now working, we'll go ahead and pop that in. then this video is for you, and we'll show you what tool you need and how to clean the cartridges. All right, so here on the workbench are the two cartridges that weren't working very well before. So some tools that you're gonna need, and basically looking at the back of this, for the Mario game cartridge, which most of the Nintendos have, uh, you're gonna need a special adapter bit. It's a 3.8 millimeter star type bit. It's got a real funky type of uh, screw in there. The Donkey Kong just happens to use a regular slotted screwdriver. So we're kind of lucky in that respect. The Robin Hood one happened to have the star bit. What else you're going to need? You're going to need some Brasso. And that's going to clean up some of the terminals. Okay. And then you're going to need a cotton swab to clean things off. And then a cotton, soft cotton piece of fabric. This happens to be an old mask that I'm not using. Thank goodness that time is over. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's take the bit here. You can buy this set of uh, set of three. Uh, this one on Amazon, this one has a 4.5 millimeter star bit, and then it also has like a little triangular screwdriver. And they come in various combinations. Uh, I just got the set that had just these bits on top and it's uh basically just they're hand tightened so you don't need to really use a, a ratchet wrench on there now i like to have this little magnetic dish here <laughs> it attracts everything steel of course and then i also have a little telescoping magnet in order to pull the screws out if i don't fully get them there get them out of the uh cartridge okay this must have a little bit of magnetism from working with it earlier all right now you're going to see there's a couple tabs here those just slide right in okay and then this is all that's inside and it only goes in one way so what we're going to do is we're going to clean off these cotton contacts i'm going to try to stay away from all the solder points and then we're going to clean this surface here there's not much corrosion on this, surprisingly, compared with the rest. But we'll take the cotton swab. We're going to dip it inside the Brasso that I put into this little measuring cup. And then we're going to just rub that on. Now, Brasso does take away a slight bit of the finish because you're taking away tarnish. And you can see there that black that's, that's there. I'm also going to go just a little bit into some of the contacts here. And uh, that tended to be, uh, with the Robin Hood, it needed a lot of cleaning on, on those contacts. And then what you want to do is try to wipe that up as best you can. It says on the outside of the cartridge to not use rubbing alcohol. But uh, most people, when you go on to video repairs, that's what they're using is rubbing alcohol to clean things. But in the case of the Robin Hood... Um, it wasn't working. It took three different applications to get things all polished up on it. 
Okay, that should be pretty good with that one. And then all you have to do is just simply put this back in so you find where the screw hole is in the notch. And then take your cartridge, slip the tabs in like so. Okay, so slip your tabs in. And then put the screws back into place. And then uh, you should be good to go. I just did a test on it and it didn't work. So I'm going to, uh, I just uh, recleaned it again. And I'm going to just dab some alcohol on this thing. It's just rubbing alcohol. It says airbrush cleaner, but no, I just uh, keep rubbing alcohol in it. And that should evaporate pretty quickly, as you know. And that'll get rid of any extra. Um, Oh, Brasso that happens to be on it in the way. So it's got a nice shiny finish now. Let's go see if that works. Okay, now for the third time, let's see if this works. And there we go. Pretty nice clean screen. And now you can play your game. This happened to take quite a bit of cleaning to get it to work. I had to do take it apart two or three times, well, three or four times, actually. But now it does, and now we can play the game. Well, I hope you found this video useful, and give it a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe to the channel if you don't already, and now you can play your vintage NES Star Wars games, should they be, not be working. Take care. We'll see you on another video.